Hello there, everyone. So today I would like to discuss indefinite integrals. So as we have discussed before, when you have a function, let's say 2x, and you take the derivative, that's really simple, right? Since the exponent here is 1, we drop the exponent, so that's 2. x was to the power of 1. When we subtract by 1, it would be x to the power of 0. So this is simply 2 as a constant, as x to the power of 0 is 1. However, what would happen if our function was, let's say, 2x plus 1? So it's the same function but shifted up by one unit. What would be the derivative? Well, as we have learned before, we may take the derivative of each separate element here. So if we're adding those up, we can just take the derivative of the first part plus the derivative of the second part. However, what is the derivative of 2x? Well, we have just found it. It's 2. And what is the derivative of 1? Well, since it's a constant, there, there's an x here to the power 0. So if you drop the 0, wouldn't you be multiplying by 0? So any time you take the derivative of a constant, it's 0. So what do you notice here? Those two values, they're the same. So for two different functions, you will have the same derivative. So that could infer, that could make, make us believe that, well, if we take the antiderivative of this function, which is the antiderivative of 2, in principle, it's not only 2x, but 2x plus any constant. Think about it. If I just... Let's have another function here. 2x plus, I don't know, 100. The derivative is still 2, because this part is constant, so it vanishes when you, make the, when you take the derivative. Even if it was negative, it was, if it was a square root, as long as it's a constant value, there's no x here, so it's not changing, then your derivative for that part will be zero. So, in fact, when you take the integral of this function here, you will have a family of functions. So, this result here is not only the line y equals 2x, which goes through the origin. So, let's say this is y equals 2x. So we know that the gradient is 2, so it's, it goes 1 forward and 2 up, rise over run. So it's rising twice as fast as it's running. Now, what would be 2x plus 1? It's a parallel line. This would be 2x plus 1. 2x minus 1 would be a line down here. So, for example, this one, you know the y-intercept would be 1, this one would be 0, this one would be negative 1, 2x minus 1. So, in fact, you're going to have a family of functions. This is a line. If, if your function here was x squared, you would have a family of parabolas. All of them plus or minus a constant. Now, you might argue, well... Before, when we were working with definite integrals, we didn't have that. Well, let me show you something. Using the theorem of calculus, so the, the fundamental theorem of calculus, we do have this. If we take the integral of some function f of x dx, that's the antiderivative at the above point here minus the antiderivative at the bottom point. So the whole point here is, if this was your function, let's say a to b of 2x dx, then your antiderivative here would be x squared. Um, if you try to divide by 2, you're going to cross those out. So that's x squared from point a 
to be. Right? However, as I told you, there could be any constant. So let's assume that, okay, our antiderivative is not exactly that. It's x squared plus a constant from a to b. So what would be f of a? This means, okay, f of x is x squared plus a constant. That's what I'm saying here. So if I put b and a here, wouldn't I have f of b plus c, it's a constant, minus f of a plus c. So if we expand, we get f of b plus c minus f of a plus c. Oh, sorry, minus c. Because when we expand, that sign is going to change. So we can see here that those constants they don't matter because they're going to be crossed out. So at the end, you're going to arrive at the same thing. So that is why we have not discussed about this constant so far. But right now, when you're working with indefinite integrals, that constant is going to matter. So let's take a look at one problem in which you will be able to find out what that constant is for a particular function. So, let's say that this is your problem. You've got a derivative of a function. Oops, I <laughs> know the x here. You've got a derivative of a function which is x to the power 3 plus 2x. So, you're being asked, what is the integral for that particular function? The indefinite integral. So, you will have to try and find a constant. But for that, you will need what we sometimes call a contour value, or, well, it's basically some, some value of your function that you know. So this would be given in your problem, just like your function. So I will tell you a bit more. I'm going to tell you that my function, when x is 0, is equal to 1. So if my function, when x is equal to 0, is 1, then I do have some condition that I will use further to find my constant. So let's take a look at how we do this, because the first steps are exactly what we have been doing for a few lessons now. So the integral of f, of the derivative of f, dx, well, this is our derivative. So if we take the antiderivative of this, it would be x to the power 4 over 4 I'm doing separately each part and I'm just you know let's not not waste time and space you already know how to do those things so I'm skipping a few things 2x here well it would be x squared over 2 multiplied by 2 so we can cross those twos plus a constant value which we're going to find out and if we're taking the in taking the integral of that function, that is actually the function itself. We're taking the integral of the derivative, so it's the function. All right, so let's continue here. So at last, my function is calculated to be this, right? Okay, now we also know that f of 0 is 1. So if f of 0 is 1, we can find c. We just put those values in our original function. So let's do it now. What would be f of 0 using the antiderivative that we have calculated? So f of 0, if x is 0 here, that's 0. 0 to the power 4 over 4, that's 0 plus x squared, which is 0, 0 squared, plus c, and that should be 1. So you can see here that those first terms, they will vanish, and what you find at the end is that c is equal to 1. So now you do know your function. So your function here would be x to the power 4 over 4 plus x squared plus 1, as simple as that. Most importantly, if no information is being given, so if you don't have any values like this one, and you're asked for an indefinite integral, you're just going to leave the c there, a constant. You don't know what it is, you would need more information to find it out, 
but there is a constant there. So just for you to be aware, if you don't have any information, then you will just, when you're calculating your indefinite integral, you will just leave it like this yellow answer here. This constant is often also referred to as the constant of integration. And I think that's enough for today.